Shalom. Welcome to Hebrew Literacy. Today we will be continuing on our walk through the Holy Writings, Chituvim. We're working our way through the book of Koheleth, more commonly known as Ecclesiastes. And today we will be doing chapter 2, verse 10. All right. So let's just say a quick blessing. May Adonai bless all of you. May your understanding be exciting and your learning fun. May you have supernatural memory blessed by the Holy One. And all these things we give praise and glory for by the merit of Yeshua HaMashiach. All right. So we are. Now, verse 10, it's pretty big. I will read the whole thing first, as uh, one of my viewers has requested that I do. And then we'll start breaking it apart, okay? So here we are. Verse 10. Vechol asher sha'alu a'inai lo atzalti mehem lo mena'ati et libi Mikol simcha, kilibi sameach, mikol ramali, veze haya chelki, mikol ramali. Okay, so we're going to be tackling this verse in two pieces. So typically, the first part of a verse is called part A. And if there's only two parts, then we have part B. So you can see over here in the upper left-hand corner, I've got the full verse for reference. If you need to zoom in, you can have a look at that. And then over here is the part that we are currently working on. All right. So let's get to it. Verse 10a. Vechol asher. Vechol. So, of course, the... The vav there is and. Chul is all. Asher. Which. Sha'alu. Sha'alu. Now here it gets a little bit interesting. <coughs> Excuse me. Sha'al is the root. Sha'al. And we would read this. Sha'alu. Sha'alu. The u at the end telling us it's they now sha'al usually means ask right from this we get the word a sha'ela a question ask Sometimes, now we have a derivative of this, and sometimes in the Psalms we'll have, you know, there's a famous song that says, Yitain, uh, was it Yitain Adonai Mishaelot Levavecha? May Adonai give you the Mishaelot, the literally the questionings of your heart, right? Levavecha. Usually this is translated as desires. So it's kind of interesting. We have other words for desires, but it's interesting to me that one of the words in biblical Hebrew for that can have the meaning to desire, to consult, to interrogate, to ask for, right? That's actually asking, like you're asking about something. Isn't that something? It can also have the meaning to beg in some contexts. To beg. In Zechariah, 
10, verse 1, it says, Sha'alu me Hashem mata. Ask or beg, inquire from Hashem for rain. Or very famously, one of the Psalms, I can't think of which one it is, says, Sha'alu shalom Yerushalayim. And this is usually translated, pray for the peace of Jerusalem, which always kind of bothers me <laughs> a little bit. Because Sha'al doesn't literally mean pray. It's ask. Perhaps beg for the peace of Jerusalem is a better translation, or diligently inquire for the peace of Jerusalem. Sha'alu shalom, Yerushalayim. Now that's an imperative. In the case we have here, the Sha'al, Sha'al u, this is a perfect third person. They they literally they asked, but the nuance is going to be the same as where we get the Misha'alot Levavecha, the desires of your heart, the askings of your heart. So the subject is what's going to give it, give it away. What is the subject? Einai. Einai. So the word for I is ayan. Sorry, just trying to get my device to <laughs> function. Okay, there we go. Ayan. Oh, and let me put up our banner. I am is I. And I am is eyes. And if we delete the mem, Arinai is eyes of. And then we add the we add the the yod suffix Arinai. That's eyes of me. So that suffix at the end is my. My. When you have the ending e, e, that's my singular thing, right? If there's just one of the things. So see, my horse. But when you have I, so we have that patach there. I, then it's my plural of the thing. So susi is my horse, susai, my horses. Okay? That's what we have going on here. I need would be my eye. And I, my eyes. So the eyes are the subject here. My eyes is the subject, and the verb is sha'al. So sha'alu a'inai. A'inai is like sha'alu a'inai. My eyes asked. And this really means desired. They wanted. The Hebraic idea of eyes asking for something, your eyes are asking for something, is their they're hopeful eyes, right? They're Hungry eyes. <laughs> they want something. So, Vechol Asher Sha'alu Einai means, and everything which my eyes desired. Everything which my eyes desired. Lo, not. Atzal tu. Atzal tu. Atzal, Aleph, Tzari, Lamed, if you're just listening. This can have a couple different meanings. It's like to take away something or to reserve something. If it's followed with min, then it means to refuse, right? To refuse. And we actually do have that here. So we have Atzal. Atzal. Take away.
But when we follow it with min, meaning from, then that one equals refuse. And that's what we have over here. Look, we have may mayhem mayhem. What happened was we tried to have the meh, but the the hay couldn't take the dog. Actually, got rejected. Came down here and lengthened it to a longer seri to mayhem. <laughs> Batman leaves mayhem in his wake. So atzal. Refused to I. I refused ham. Only he started with he started with low not I refuse. So I did not refuse. Living it up. Lo atsal tu mayhem. Not. And then atsal plus mem is refuse. Tu i them. Who's the them? His eyes. Or the stuff that he wanted. Vechol asher sha'alu. And everything which sha'alu einai, my eyes desired, lo atzaltu mayhem, I did not refuse them. Are you guys doing any comments or questions? I'm just going to get a drink real quick. Okay, continuing on. Lo mana tu mana tu. So lo not mana tu. So mana also means refuse. Like hold back to when Hashem criticizes us of not following Him. This is the verb that's used. I wanted you to do this and that, but you refused. Et, the definite direct object marker. Libi, libi. It's happening. Hold on. I think I'm having an equipment issue again. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, I can pause. Okay, I think we're right now. So the E is my. And this is the word levav. The valves, the double, pardon me, the double baits have collapsed, and that's why we have a dagesh there. So heart of E. So my heart. Lo mana to I did not refuse or restrain et li bi my heart. Me kol me kol. So here again we have the word min. Amotzi lechem min haaretz.
min meaning from oh wait. sorry We have contraction happening here. Min kol became mik kol. The noon has assimilated into the kaf. That is why we have me with the dagesh inside that's the noon inside of there me from kol all simcha joy our congregation here in the philippines is called simcha hashem the joy of the lord or the joy of the name okay so it's just Take one more look at part A of this verse. Vechol asher sha'alu, and everything which desired, literally asked, inquired, or begged. Einai, my eyes, lo atzalti. I did not take away or refuse or restrain mayhem them. Right, so we have that idiom, the Atzal plus min, min is to refuse. So I did not refuse him, them. Lo, not, manakti. I did not hold back. Et libi, my heart. Mikol, which is min kol, mikol from all or any kind of simcha, happiness, joy, any kind of joy. You guys have any comments or questions? All right, let's get to the second part of the verse. Just did a time check. Looks like we're doing all right. So now we are on this part. That's what this is here. Should have done that on the previous slide. Now, now I have my method. We're improving, <laughs> continuously improving. Bezrat Hashem. Ki libi, because or for the levav of e. My heart. Sameach, Sameach. This is an active participle from where that noun on the previous part of the verse derived from. Simcha is joy, and Sameach is from the verb Samach, to be happy, to be joyful. The special form here is called an active participle. Sameach. My heart was joyful. And, uh, you know, I had somebody write to me. I was going through checking comments on YouTube last night, trying to uh, spend, spend maybe an hour, hour and a half responding to people. I was a bit behind. And one fellow had asked me on my video where I'm proving that Vav was a wow in ancient times. It was a W. So these guys, these guys, the one guy who claims that God's name was Yeho, and the second part was Va, that it can't be because there was a wolf back then, right? And someone wrote me that they'd studied Hebrew for a while, and doesn't the name of God mean Haya Hove Yihye, like Ove Yihye, who was and is and is to come? And uh, the problem with that is that, well, for one, the verse that does those kind of things, it says Haya Hove 
and Yavo will come, not will exist. But the person's trying to put time into an active participle. And that is a dialectical issue. The participles, like this word here, sameach, in biblical Hebrew, do not express time. There's no time expressed in a participle. In modern Hebrew, yes, you do. That's the so-called present tense, right? It's been kind of influenced by Indo-European languages. But biblical Hebrew, no. No, no, no. We, we will insert time sometimes in English to just make it make sense to us. But really the function that's happening in the Hebrew is we have a noun, and then we have an... Oops, sorry. Oops. <laughs> Here's our noun. We have a noun, in this case, Lee B. And we have an adjective. In this case, Sameach. One way of thinking of an active participle is you can think of this as a verbal adjective. It's an adjective derived from a verb. Okay? So, for example, my heart, it could have said, my, my heart, a green one, right? Or it could have said, my heart, a big one. But instead it says, my heart, a rejoicing one, is really how to understand that. And then we just have to make it sound right in English or whatever your target language is, right? So in this case, not only is it not a present tense, but it makes more sense translating into English to put it in the past tense. Okay? So do not be fooled by modern Hebrew if you've studied that dialect a little bit when trying to understand what the Tanakh is saying here. Okay? Ki libi sameach, for my heart rejoiced. Or, my heart, a rejoicing one. Mikol ra'mali. Mikol. Mikol. From. So again, we have min doing its thing. Amotzi lechem min haaretz min. And then uh, Dagesh is just showing us the noon has assimilated. From all, and then I will just be literal first on this next word, and then we'll go deeper. Ra'mal. Ra'mal means labor. Labor. Ra'mal of e. Labor of me. So my labor. And there is, let me get you the reference, a work by Loretz called Kohelet on der Alte Orient. Freiburg is where it was published, 1964, page 280, section 973, where he makes the interesting observation that ra'mal can actually mean wealth. It can have the nuance of wealth, which makes sense here, if you think about it. Everything that Kohelet has done, or he's been talking about amassing things, right? So it's not just ra'mali, my labor, but more specifically, more concretely, realized as wealth. So, mikol. Oh, sorry. <laughs> my my brain remembered we had Mikol there, and then I went back. Mikol from all of Amali, uh, my wealth. Veze haya chelki veze ve and ze is a demonstrative adjective. But when you put the adjective first, you can be saying like an is sentence, right? So now this and this, although we don't need that because we have haya, haya was. And by the way, this is how we can know to translate was over here in front of the Sameach, right? 
because we actually have a perfect aspect nailed down with Hayah. This was Vizehaya. Now this was Chelki. Chelki. Now Chelik is a portion. Chalak is to divide up, to portion up. Although Chalak number two is to like make smooth or slippery. That's why you can have like Sif. You can have Sifat. Uh, was it Siftei Chalkayim? Right? You have pernicious lips, like slippery lips. Chelki. My chelik, my portion. Portion, chelik. Now this was my chelik, my portion. Mikol Ramali. Mikol again the same as up here from all of Ramal. The labor, the work, the wealth of E of my wealth. My or actually, it probably makes sense to tease these out a bit differently because of the Hebrew parallelism. So the first one probably makes sense to say wealth. And the second one to say labor, which is easier for people to read when it's printed, labor. This is something you'll see with Hebrew parallelism. When you use the same word twice poetically, then often the poet, the prophet, the scribe is teasing out two different meanings, two different nuances from the same word. So that's why I corrected myself and actually translated the second one as labor and the first one as wealth. Okay, any comments or questions? I think that's a good stopping point. Maybe we'll just go through everything one more time. Whoa, <laughs> hold on. Okay, let's pause. Did some crazy jumping. There we go. And now we can correct this one. Not correct, but kind of label it a bit nicer. There's the full verse over here in the upper left. And that is, of course, the first half is what we are addressing here. Vechol Asher Sha'alu Einai and everything which my eyes desired Lo Atsatu Mehem I did not restrain or refuse them Lo Manatu I did not Hold back or refuse et libi, my heart or my mind, mikol simcha, from any joy. Ki libi sameach, for my heart delighted or was joyful, mikol ramali. So this mikol, I'm probably going to say this time around the meh as because or on account of all of my wealth. Vizehaya, and this was chelki, my portion. Mikol ramali, from all of my labor. Now I'm just going to read one more time, this time just kind of a normal reading without the falsettos and low tones. This is Kohelet, chapter 2, verse 10. 
וכל אשר שאלו עיניי, לא עצלתי מהם. לא מנעתי את ליבי מכל שמחה. כי ליבי שמח מכל עמלי, וזה היה חלקי מכל עמלי. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will catch you Shabbat for our ancient triennial Torah portion and ancient triennial Haftra. Hope to see you guys there with our live teaching. Be well, be encouraged. Even if you're new, don't worry. This might seem overwhelming at first. Just try to learn one thing each time. Remember, at least one thing each time. And as you stick with us, not only will you be learning by actually being in the text and working with the text, but you will be growing more rapidly than you can even imagine with the Holy Tongue. Add one of the Hebrew words of the day that we have over here. Do one of those every once in a while, too, and that will really help. All right, I wish you guys all the best. Have a great day. Shalom, shalom.